In this knitting tutorial, I will show you another way how to knit the reverse stocking stitch. The reverse stocking stitch made up of knit and purl stitches where the knit side is a wrong side and purl side is a right side. With two knitting needles, I am casting on 12 stitches that would be enough for demonstration. The first and the last stitch of every row will be my H stitches. So my pattern takes 10 stitches. For casting on, I am using a long tail cast on method. Here is my cast on row, take off one of the needle and turn the work to begin the next row. For reverse stocking a stitch, knit stitches are worked on the wrong side of a fabric and purl stitches are worked on the right side. So the first row is a row of purl stitches. To begin, move the working yarn to the front of the main needle and slip the first stitch purlwise. Insert the working needle purlwise into the first loop and slide the loop from the main to the working needle. Then work a row of purl stitches. This time I will be working the purl stitches using the second method. Insert the working needle into the front leg of the next loop, move the little to the side, wrap the working yarn around the tip of the working needle and pull the yarn through the loop. Then slide off the loop on the main needle. Continue insert the working needle into the front leg. Move it to the right. Wrap the yarn around the tip. Pull the yarn through the loop on the main needle and slide off the loop on the main needle. Continue and work purl stitches the same way until you reach the last stitch. Again, insert the needle into the front leg, move it to the right, wrap the yarn around the tip, then pull the yarn through the loop and drop the loop. Work the same through each of next loop until you have one loop on your main needle. For the age, Work the purl stitch using the first method. Insert the needle in front leg, move the yarn under the needle, take the yarn and pull it through. Drop the loop on the main needle. The first row is made. Now turn the work and switch the needles. Work neat stitches on the wrong side. For this, hold the working yarn behind the main needle. For the edge, slip the first loop purlwise, then knit the knit stitch into the front leg of the loop. Insert the working needle into the front leg knitwise, grab the yarn and pull it through, and slide off the loop on the main needle. Continue and knit the next stitches the same way. Insert the working needle into the front leg knitwise, grab the yarn, pull it through, and slide off the loop on the main needle. Work across the row until the last stitch. The H stitch work as a purl stitch using the first method. Now switch the needles and work the next right side row which is a row of purl stitches. For the H insert the needle purlwise and slip the first stitch and continue with the row of purl stitches. Working yarn is in front of the needle and work the purl stitch using the second method. You can practice your knit and purl stitches following our detailed knitting tutorials. I remind you that we work purl stitches on the right side. Work until you reach the last loop.
Here is our last stage before the age stage. And for the age, we need to purl the last stitch as well. Work the purl using the first method. Insert the needle, move the yarn, and pull it through the loop. Now continue with the next row. Turn the work to the wrong side. Switch needles. Slip the first loop purlwise for the age. And each stitch that you need on the wrong side would be a knit stitch. I'm working knit stitches, inserting the needle into the front leg, knit wise. Work knit stitches until you reach the last loop on the main needle. The last stitch is an H stitch. Work it as a purl stitch using the first method. Here is how reverse stocking a stitch looks on fabric. This is the right side. On the right side we have purl stitches. And this is the wrong side where we work knit stitches. To make a nice edge on my knitted piece I work the edge stitches. This time I worked purl stitches using the second method and knit stitches I worked into the front leg of loops. For more details you can check out our tutorials of how to knit the knit and purl stitches. In previous tutorial I made this reverse stocking it where I worked purl stitches using first method and work knit stitches into the back leg. So you're free to choose any method which fits you better. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe.